Hi there and welcome to this video on my EV stats for our two cars for March 2024. Now usually I put out a video every month about my solar stats and about my home usage and I usually include my EV usage in that but there's so much data this month I decided to do a separate video. So I hope you like it, let's go. So let's start with looking at the cars. We've got a BMW i3, the model year is a 2014 version. It's the original version of the 60 amp hour battery with a Rex uh, engine in it. The wheels are the larger 20 inch version. And when it was new, it had a usable battery capacity of 18.8 kilowatt hours. It's not far off that at the moment, but I do check it quite regularly. And whenever it's driven, it's driven in the Eco Pro mode. The other car we have is a BMW iX3 model year 2021. It's an M Sport version and it has 19 inch wheels. The usable battery capacity on it is 74 kilowatt hours and the driving mode that it's usually driven in is Eco Pro uh, with B mode uh, for full uh, energy regeneration. So let's start with the iX3 in March 2024. Overall in the month it covered 863 miles. It had 13 charging sessions and the charge that was used to cover those 863 miles was 213.7 kilowatt hours. Overall, it was charged more than that, but the energy is still in the batteries at the moment. And we home charged it for 231 kilowatt hours in March and non-home charging, which was free, was 16 kilowatt hours. So of the 231 kilowatt hours that was actually put into the car in March, uh, at a price of seven and a half pence, 17 pounds and 33 pence was spent putting that energy into the car. Although actual use was only 213.7 kilowatt hours and at seven and a half pence, that equals 16 pounds and three pence. If we take the 16 pounds and three pence and divide it by 863 miles, that gives us per mile 1.86 pence. If we take the 863 miles and divide it by the 213.7 kilowatt hours, that gives us an average of four miles per kilowatt hour during the month. So let's have a look at what the BMW app says for the review of March. It says I made 118 trips in the car and covered 863 miles. And my average trip duration was only 15 minutes. And I spent in total 30 hours driving the car. BMW agrees with my calculations that my average for the month of March was four miles per kilowatt hour. And this is just a summary saying that I spent 30 hours in the car. I did four miles per kilowatt hours on average and my most efficient trip, believe it or not, was a, was a trip of 6.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which it must have been a very short trip with no heating on. So onto the i3 now. Now the i3 covered a larger amount of miles, 1,298 miles in March. It had 29 charging sessions and the charge that was used was 388 kilowatt hours. Now that was split up between the hypervolt home charging of 366 kilowatt hours and away from the home charging of 12 kilowatt hours, which was free. Unfortunately, the i3 doesn't give us as much information in the app as what the newer iX3 does. So now for some costs on the i3, as we put in 366 kilowatt hours of energy into it at seven and a half pence, that meant the cost for the month was 27 pounds and 45 pence. So if we take the 27 pounds and 45 pence and divide it by the 1,298 miles, it works out that we were spending 2.2 pence per mile. If we then take the 1,298 miles and divide it by the 366 kilowatt hours that went into the car, it means that the car was on average doing 3.55 miles per kilowatt hour. Now that seems quite low for the i3, although it was quite cold sometimes in March, as the car has been known to do a lot better, especially during summer of around four to five, even more than five miles per kilowatt hour. If you're not with Octopus at all and you want to use Octopus Go or Octopus Intelligent in order to charge your car and you want to move over to them and switch, then you can get a £50 bill credit 
I also get £50 as well. And you can use my code TOUGHSNAIL7955 and I'll put a link to that in the video description below as well. You could also join Octopus Electroverse. So if you do EV charging away from your home, then you can use a simple app or a simple uh, RFID card that they provide you to get access to loads of different chargers. And you can right now get five pounds bill charging credit if you use my link. And I'll also put that link to Octopus Electroverse in the video description below. So for the summary for both cars, both cars covered 2,161 miles and total charge for both cars was 635 kilowatt hours. At home, this equated to 597 kilowatt hours. As some of those charging hours were away from the house. If I split that up into how we charge the car, the Hypervolt EV charger supplied the cars with 489 kilowatt hours while sometimes the uh, wall socket granny charger was used at the same time as the hypervolt and that provided 108 kilowatt hours of charge so 597 kilowatt hours times 7.5 pence on octopus intelligent equals a total spend of 44 pounds and 78 pence for the month for both cars and if we take that figure and divide it by the total mileage it works out on average that both cars uh, were costing about 2.1 pence per mile so that's the ev data for this month i hope you liked the video if you did give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber thanks for watching and i'll see you soon